Hey guys, Stingray here, back here with another video request. Uh, today we're going to be comparing the WWE Spinner to the uh, WWE United States Spinner. Um, this video was requested by AJCR34. Um, we're going to be doing an in-depth comparison on these two. And um, hopefully it will help other people answer their questions uh, that they have about these two belts too. So, um, also guys, if you have uh, any video requests that you want to see, it doesn't have to be a comparison. It could be about anything in general. Like if you want to see like um, the PS3 in depth or um, like all the features of it or like, like a whole bunch of stuff I could do because I have a lot of stuff and I can do really good video requests like in depth and stuff and uh, it'll answer all your questions and everything so if you have a video request or a comparison that you want to see I'll be willing to do it and um, just send me a message drop a comment to my profile or comment to any one of these videos and this is my second video request that I'm doing so uh, let's get to it right now as you see the United States spinner comes in a Smackdown cloth bag or it could come in a um, the black velvet bag if if it's a deluxe model but I would not recommend buying a deluxe model only because it's uh, it still has cardboard in it it's not real leather like they claim it is and um, it's, it's still not really flexible and it still gets cracks in it so it's not worth it um, but anyways this is just as flexible as um, a deluxe or well the deluxe isn't really flexible but um, this is like a real leather strap basically um, because I did the bucket effect to it, I did the um, rescrewing to it, and the, and the shaving cream trick during the summer. So when if I let this belt sit out in the sun for um, like say five ten minutes on not, uh, eighty degree or ninety degree day, let, let just let the strap sit out in the sun. It would be flexible in five minutes, guaranteed. It'll be m more flexible than real leather. I can guarantee you that. Even with this one, my US, my normal US, my world heavyweight, well, that's flexible all the time, regardless. And um, the ECW belt. So regardless, um, you do the bucket effect. You're gonna get guaranteed results in the sun when you put when you put it out there for however long you want to do it. All right. So um, basically, we'll do an in-depth comparison right now. Um, the center plate on this is. I would say it's it's longer. It's definitely longer this way than it is uh, height. But the spinner on this one is smaller than it is on this one. This one has a gargantuan uh, spinner, whereas this one is, is not that uh, big. Um, I have the magnet in this one, and I do not have the magnet in this one. So we're going to do a speed test. Uh, yeah, they both spin pretty, pretty good. Uh, this one... If you saw my mod, how I did this, this one spins freely with no noise whatsoever. And uh, this one has a magnet in it, and it, it just keeps it in place like it does right there. It's only half a magnet, so it's not a strong lock, so it could spin freely. But, um, yeah. Alright, so this one has five plates on the belt, whereas this one has uh, six. So you're getting a little more detail on this one than you are on this one. But, um... Only with the plates, though. Uh, the detail on the plates comes majorly into detail right here with this belt. Um, because you're getting all of the um, jewels and everything. But you got to be careful with this belt because the jewels fall out. Whereas on this one, they do not fall out. I've never had a, uh, one fall out. I can look at all these right now and I can guarantee you there's none of them out. Ever since I had this belt, I bought it on eBay and this one I got for Christmas last year. And this is the commemorative edition in case uh, I haven't mentioned that. But I did mention that in all my other videos. Uh, this one has a silver tip on it. And this one's already cut for one. I still never bought one. I need to buy one for that. Uh, I've, been, I've been saying that for a long time. And I know I have to get to that right now. Um, one problem with this is that th with this commemorative belt, I... Put it on an adult spinner strap for the metal plate. So this is a really durable strap. It's meant to hold metal plates. And um, this is really thick compared to the um, the commemorative strap, which is crap. I mean, I have to admit that. Even on my ECW belt, the commemorative strap is better than this, than this spinner commemorative strap. But it's still not the greatest. And um, with this, you don't get cracks or anything because... 
on the back of it, I'll show you, there's no screws. No screws at all. Um, because I crazy glued the, the plates into the strap because the screws would not fit back on. Like, I got one on on here. But it's, it's really hard to do that. And here was a, a kind of messy mess up right there. But you don't really see it, so it doesn't really matter. And um, the plates don't fall out. Uh, when they do come out, you just put the, um, you just crazy glue it back in. So it's it's not that big of a deal, really. Uh. Alright, so um, on this belt, you get the feature to put your name on it, on the um, nameplate. Whereas on this one, you're stuck with John Cena. But um, there's a little bit, little idea you can do. You can put a, um, a silver ECW nameplate. You can buy it engraved, and you can glue it down here below the John Cena name. Uh, I thought about doing that, but I didn't, I didn't like the idea. But that's just a little idea I had for you guys. Um, I thought of it a long time ago. So, uh, yeah, you can put your nameplate down there if you're really interested in doing that. But um, the new versions of this uh, U.S. Spinner, they do not come with John Cena's name on it. They do not come with Word Life on it. So you only get the U.S. and the champion thing on it. So you get the option to put your own nameplate over the John Cena name, which is not there. Um, personally, I don't think that is good because y in, this is the original that, that uh, was shown on TV. So I would not like that other one at all. Um... This one, you you have a lot of WWE logos on this one. Whereas on this one, you only have that one and that one on the sixth plate. <clears throat> but um, you get the WWE, WWE, and WWE. Uh, you got the WWE somewhere on there, and you got you got you got a WWE logo on every single one of these plates, basically. Um, so this one's really uh, well. It's because it's WWE champion, really. But you're getting a whole bunch of um. You get like a, a, the American flag there, star, star. I mean, this one, you can just see the detail in this belt um, when you look at it. Uh, there's a lot of engraving on here on this plate. It's really solid. You get the um, the jewels around it. I don't know if you can see them. There's jewels in there, like they're like the jewels on here. They're they're around each of these plates. Um, like I said, they don't fall out. You're not going to have a problem on that belt. On this one, you're going to have a problem because the jewels do fall out a lot. And um, that's one thing that goes against this belt because it's it's perfect otherwise. I really like this belt. Um, I, re I like the spinner belt. I don't know why, but it, it grew on me. So uh, you, got, you got a lot of jewels on here, but these are really, really tight in here. They're not going to fall out. I have never had a problem with them. Um... So what else could we do? Uh, we'll compare the back of the belts. Uh, wait, before we do that, we'll do the size of the two of the belts. Um, as you can see, they're both even on there, right there. So the spinner is longer than the United States spinner. By almost an inch. And it's not because of the gold tip. The, gold, the silver tip does not uh, add any more length to it. It's it's just like right onto here the gold tip so it, it doesn't add any length to it so the spinner is longer than that let's see if it's taller uh, they're both about the same size really in the center but the spinner looks a little bit smaller than the than this you could you could see how it looks a little yeah it's a little bit smaller than the center plate on there so uh, next thing we'll go. We'll do the backs of the belts. Uh, yeah, well, I really can't compare these two to because this one's not metal and this one is metal. So it's going to be a hard uh, comparison on the back because we would normally have the uh, screws on here for the plates. And you got your spinner thing here. You got your spinner thing there. You got, the, you got all the screws on there. You got... All the screws on here, which are not sticking out, but you have the screws there on the metal version. And, um, yeah, that's basically, that's basically it for the comparison. I mean, it's really a matter of opinion which belt that you really, really want. Um, it depends. Are you a fan of John Cena, or would you like to be on top of the WWE uh, 
roster, basically. Personally, if I had to choose between the two, I would pick um, this one. Only because I'm not really a big John Cena fan, and the that belt, I like it. I Don't get me wrong, I really like it, but it's nothing for me, really. Um, honestly, I'd go with this one if you're getting the metal version. If you're getting the commemorative version, you, ha you have to do what I did to it. You have to buy the adult strap and gold tip. I mean, yeah, whatever. And it adds more weight to it and everything. So, basically, that's about it, guys. And if you have a video request, send it to me. Don't forget, comment, rate, subscribe, Darkling Gate 9 See you guys later.